three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis to assemble the framework Chris Ferguson coming to you from the flight deck of the Space Shuttle Atlantis, orbiting at an altitude of 220 miles docked to the International Space Station. The Space Shuttle was born over 30 years ago as a reusable space plane. In the ensuing 30 years, it's deployed great observatories, it's taught us how to live and work in low Earth orbit, and most recently, it's helped us construct the International Space Station. Its image is iconic. You cannot go anywhere in the world without recognizing a picture of a Space Shuttle. Space Shuttle is a rocket ship, a space plane, and a glider all rolled into one. Our good ship Atlantis has made 33 trips into space. It has visited the Mir space station, it has visited the Hubble telescope, and it has made many trips to the International Space Station. And it has the distinct honor of being the last space shuttle to visit our beloved ISS. We look forward to bringing her home in just a few short days. The Space Shuttle program has been an inspiration to our entire country. When you watch the Space Shuttle take off, you can't help but be proud of your country that can take this magnificent machine and launch it into space at 25 times the speed of sound. We're also inspired by the entire Space Ops team, the trainers, the planners, and the flight controllers who make the impossible possible. The Space Shuttle is also an inspiration to children who are inspired to study math and science and pursue technical areas. We also uh, like to recognize the fact that the Space Shuttle has really brought out the international cooperation in the space program. It started out by going to the Shuttle Mir program, where we, had init we initiated our cooperation with the Russians. And since then, of course, it has been the keystone of the International Space Station program, bringing up modules from many countries and allowing cosmonauts and astronauts from different countries to fly together in space. Because of the capabilities of the Space Shuttle, with its ability to fly up to seven people and its very large working and living volume, it's increased the possibilities and opportunities for not for all kinds of people to fly on the shuttle, scientists, engineers from America and from other countries as well. Through these many, many flights, we've gained a lot of experience and knowledge about how to adapt and work in space, and we'll be able to take this knowledge as we pursue goals beyond low Earth orbit. We have to remember, though, this knowledge should not come without some painful loss of colleagues, but we know that they, too, We'll be very excited to learn that the information and experience gained from all the space shuttle flights will be used to carry mankind beyond low Earth orbit to Moon, Mars, or perhaps an asteroid someday. Thank <laughs> you.